Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to Redstone Tutorials. But before we start this tutorial today, um, Christmas is almost coming up, and I thought it would be a cool idea to use a Christmas themed texture pack. So I'm using the, the painterly uh, Christmas themed texture pack, and I would have to say it looks quite awesome. I haven't really used texture packs in a while as I just use uh, the vanilla textures. But anyway, in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this minecart door. So practically what it does is it only allows a player that's riding a minecart through the door. Um, you cannot get in here any other way. Uh, but the best way to uh, show this off is to actually do it. So we're going to hop in this minecart here. We're going to go ahead, press this button to get on this circuit. And as you can see, we go through the door. The door opens and then the door closes so no one else can get through. And it's just a really cool... Uh, little redstone contraption that you can build say for your house or if you had like a minecart station or something like that So I'm going to be showing you how to build this now So what you are going to need is 15 redstone dust one redstone torch two redstone repeaters three sticky pistons five normal rails two detector rails and 64 block of your choice First thing that we are going to do is place down our rails. So first get your detector rail, place that down, the normal one, detector, and then two normal rails like that. Then to the right of this rail here, place two blocks, and then two more on top of it. Do the same on the other side, two blocks, two more on the top. Then behind this rail, place two up like that, and then that's going to be our door there. Now come around the back and we're going to place our pistons now. So on this right side here, we want to place two facing into it like that. And then on this side here, we're going to have one piece piston at the bottom there. And then you want to place one of your normal rails um, in front of the sticky piston there. And then the last one behind that block there. Now dig out the block on the ground here in front of these two stacked sticky pistons and then we want to place a torch in the hole there, place a block on top of the redstone torch and then place one redstone dust on top of this block and it should power up these two pistons here. Now we need to connect up the detector rails to the sticky pistons so for this first one here we want to connect this one to these ones on the left here so what we need to do is dig to the left here then go straight ahead like that until you get up to this wall here then dig one to the left and two back. Now dig this one more layer down. Now we want to dig out these two blocks under the wall here and then do it one more time and then you should be able to see the redstone torch there. Now on these bottom blocks here what we want to do from this block that the redstone torch is on we want to place two there then to one there and then one to the left. Now we want to place two redstone repeaters going into the redstone like that, then two redstone dust there and then two here. And then we want to dig out the block under the block that the detector rail is on and put a piece of redstone under there. Now come back to the repeaters here and what we need to do is we need to flick this right one here two times so it is on a three tick delay. This just makes the signal hold for longer so instead of just a quick pulse. Then we want to connect this one that's closer to the door to this one on the right here and we can simply do that by digging out two to the right and then one forward and then dig out the block under um, the wall there and then we want to dig out this down another layer except for this one under the wall. Place a redstone on those three blocks at the bottom there, then place one on top of that block like that. Now I almost forgot the most important bit of connecting it up, and that is actually connecting it up. So dig out the block under the block that the detector rail is on, and then place your redstone um, under there like so, and then it should now get powered on when a minecart goes over the top of it. So it's practically done, but now we can cover it up. But before we cover it up completely, I just want to tell you guys about this bit here. So if you place um, say a full block here what this is going to do is actually destroy the um, connection of the redstone here so what you want to do instead um, is just to be de decorative or something like that you could place uh, let's find a glowstone block. Now a glowstone block um, is not a full block or it's not a solid block so it won't actually block redstone and you can place it like there and it just gives a nice aesthetic 
look to it and still keeps the function of the minecart gate. Now we're going to do a quick test just to make sure this works. So I'm going to get out some rails and then uh, I'm just going to place them down in a circuit and then I'll come back to you in a second. So here we go guys, I've just set up a little circuit here so I can go back around and do infinite amount of loops. And here we go, I'm in my minecart, I'm going to go ahead, press this button, woo, woo, and there you go, as you can see, the door opened and closed as it should, and it's working in perfect order. So that is it for this tutorial today, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, remember to leave a like. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments because I do take a look at them. And that is it. I hope everybody has a good Christmas as well. And I hope you liked the um, uh, Christmas themed texture pack I put on this video. And yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!